Okay. Now onto the more manageable show to watch. Yeah. I enjoy this one a lot more. And again, much like on Raw, we kick things off with Becky Lynch. Although initially, it was Charlotte first. Was it? Yeah. I'm getting pissed off with him. With the book in a Charlotte. Here's of course straight away she turned around and said, Ooh. "Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this." Now. If if Becky's suspended and she can't get healthy for a swing, I'll take her place. Get the fuck away from the from the match, you parasite! Oh man, God. Oh, it pisses me off, man. This match does not need Charlotte's bloody flair to be involved in it. No, nope. let it be a straight one-on-one match between Becky and Ronda. <clears throat> You know, even as a huge Charlotte Flair fan, i got to completely agree here. You know, she doesn't need this match. She, she's had two WrestleMania moments. Yeah. I mean, come on, first ever women's champion. Yeah. The, the new era, anyway. Mm. Broke the undefeated streak of Asuka last year. Yeah. I, I just can't help but get the feeling that, like, WWE can't just focus the limelight on... On Becky, you know, oh, you can't you can't have the limelight just on Charlotte. Sorry, on Becky, oh, you got, you got to have Charlotte yeah, on Charlotte as well. She's a flair, you know. Who gives a fuck? I, I don't think it's the flair thing that. Oh, <laughs> it pisses me off. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can completely see why, but they're trying to make this match as good as it can be. <clears throat> I, I've heard rumours that the upcoming matchup. Uh, it might be fast lane, I think. I'm not sure if they're doing it in Elimination Chamber. Uh-huh. They're going to be using it to gouge the reaction of fans. Yeah, it's going to end with, fuck you, Charlotte. Maybe. It might. <laughs> but, you know what they'll do? They'll still go, <laughs> I don't care. She's getting added to the match. Well, Vince might. That's what he does. He likes to screw the fans over. So, of course, this then brought out Becky from the crowd. <laughs> and for no reason whatsoever, Triple H came out. Yeah, oh, because originally it was like, oh yeah, Becky suspended. Mm. Charlotte got in a few cheap shots saying, oh, get her, gimmick infringement. <laughs> She's stealing Roman's entrance. Oh. Which I, I did actually laugh at. And then, you know, you have all the security come out, but they're not doing jack because, you know. Mm-hmm. And then Triple H came out to, you know, settle things down. He quickly got rid of Charlotte. Good. In about 30 seconds. It was like, Charlotte, leave. And she left. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. And then, oh, this promo between Triple H and Becky. Eesh. I was like, oh, man. It's getting a bit personal here, Triple H. Mm. He was nearly going into full heel mode again. Oh. Telling her she was scared of Ronda Rousey. That she she's probably not even injured. She's just looking for an easy way out. Oh boy. I mean you don't need to try drumming up support for Becky here. She's easily the biggest the biggest face in the company. Yeah. I mean, Christ, the sort of crowd reaction she gets. Mm. You sort of forget that the whole man thing came about because of a heel turn that just didn't work. Yeah. Plus, as well, not seen it, but apparently the character is very similar to the character she played in the Marine 6. I can't watch any of those films. And apparently... She and Michaels. Oh, was I impressed by it? He sort of said, you know what? Just do that in WWE. <laughs> oh, wow, <well>, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it then ended with Triple H. Oh. Getting a slap right across the face. Yeah, he sold it. And then Becky left through the crowd again. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, you might get a bit of a rant from me here. This tag match. So, we've got the good brothers, Gallows and Anderson, facing off against the newly 
reformed team of Shinsky Nax and Russo. Yeah. Not a fan of this at all. No. No, th- this this is a waste. Of both of their time. It's like you have a proper tag team here. You know, Gallows and Anderson, a real tag team. Nowhere near the tag title picture. Because for some strange reason, the titles are on Shane McMahon and The Miz. Yeah. And you've put them against two singles guys who have spent the last two months beating the hell out of each other. Yeah. So you'd think, okay, maybe they might be a bit dysfunctional. Yeah. Which they weren't. And then to make matters worse, you have the two singles guys who have never tagged before. Go over a proper tag team. Right. It's like, I think Rusev pinned Anderson. Okay. They were much cocky. Yeah. And then they were celebrating with each other. And you're thinking like to yourself, oh, hold on a minute, didn't Nakamura injure Rusev's wife like two weeks ago? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <sighs> I go, okay, right. the booking is severely off in this situation. Very much so. Work on it. Mm. Ah, so we had some singles matches to build up the anticipation towards mm. Elimination Chamber. So of course... No, oh, let's, let's chuck Randy Orton in to bury Mustafa Ali. You know, the guy that's been building momentum the last month or so. Yeah, I wouldn't say bury. It was pretty fair. But Orton still came out on top. Yeah, this one did surprise me. Because, you know, normally you can see his RKO's coming a mile away. Mm. You're like, someone goes up to the top rope, and you're like, yep, that's where the RKO's coming from. Mm. This one, though, he got me. Didn't okay. see it coming. Ali was winning. He went up for his 0-5-4. Yep. Orton's grabbed the leg, pulled him off the top rope. Uh-huh. And as he pulled him off, he caught him with an RKO. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, that's actually shocked me. I did not see that RKO coming. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Orton's still winning in 2019. <laughs> Alright, he's not going to be winning the chamber match. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Now we had the new Daniel Bryan. Oh, eco-warrior. And he's moaning about his placement in the elimination chamber match. Like, why is he moaning? He's been in an elimination chamber match before. He's won an Elimination Chamber match before. Yeah. Surely he would be one of the guys who would say, oh yeah, that's fine. What do I care? I've won one. Not a, yeah. bad, not a bad promo by him, but... Yeah. Hmm. So, speaking of Elimination Chamber, we had a match to build up anticipation towards the women's tag team match. Hmm. So we had a triple threat tag match with Mandy Rose and Sonia Deville versus Naomi and Carmella and the Iconics. Yeah, this was a bit strange. Suddenly they've realised, oh crap, we have another tag team that we need to put in there. Quickly throw Naomi and Carmella into a tag team. Okay, so what's the storyline with this one then? They both like to dance? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> no story for this whatsoever. It was just like, hey, yeah, I, I needed a partner and there was really no other woman on the roster. <laughs> <laughs> Not currently doing anything. Mm. So, the match was all right. <laughs> I've seen worse women's matches. Mm. Uh, who picked up the pin for? Well, rather surprisingly, Mandy Rose picked up the pin for. Oh, boy. 
I bet Corey was marking out. Yep, you know it. <laughs> Christ, he, he's a bigger mark than we. <laughs> Especially for Mandy Rose. Mm. But yeah, she beat Naomi. Oh boy. With that sit out face buster. Mm-hmm. And it was like, holy cow, they might actually pull a swerve on us here. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, um, on to our main event for the night. Okay, here we go. We've got the new Daniel Bryan facing off against Brother Nero. Uh-huh. And of course, Daniel Bryan had his meat at ringside. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's meat? His heavy meat. Oh, okay. His muscle. Jesus Christ, for a minute, I thought you were going to say he pulled out his vegan warrior. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Again, this was okay. Yeah. <coughs> I can't help but sense there's a butt in there somewhere. Yeah. Because it was another one of those matches that, you, you know, well, rather surprisingly, you know, the Raw match ended in a DQ. This one ended in a oh, DQ. Because <laughs> Brian was about to lose. And Eric Rowan pulled Jeff Hardy out the ring. Started <laughs> wailing on him. Ooh. And that caused the DQ. Yeah, Christ's sake. But we, we got some decent ending at least. Earlier in the night, after the Randy Orton Ali match, mm-hmm. Joe came out and you know beat up Randy. Oh boy! No, 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 no. So now in this one, everyone came out. It just oh. turned into a massive fight. Ali came out, <coughs> Orton came out, Joe came out. Yeah. They were all beating each other up. Mm-hmm. And then the last man to come out was AJ. Yeah, very good. He cleaned the ring. Yeah. It was a good moment. Yeah. And then, oh, the hilarious part. Daniel Bryan and Rowan, they ran backstage. Yeah. And Bryan was pissed. <laughs> he was complaining about unsafe working conditions. Oh, in fact, he's even goes so far to say he's putting in an official complaint. <laughs> oh, no, not an official one. Yeah. <laughs> now, what we want to know, though... Hopefully there wasn't any more references about AJ and Joe's homegirl, Wendy. Not no. This. Not this week. Not this week. He's a buggery. <laughs> oh, man. I like how they're we, still we, referencing that. We'd forgotten all about it, and then Joe just pulls yeah. it out of the back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah. Poor choice of words. He yeah. just whipped it out. <laughs> oh, my. He's like, oh, how's our girl Wendy doing? <laughs> oh, fight, fight, fight. Oh, boy. Oh, this actually could be a decent elimination chamber match. Yeah. You better thought it was, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I suppose someone's got to take up him mm. for. He ain't going to win it. No. They're not going to give him another world title. But yeah, that, that was how we ended SmackDown with Brian and Rowan storming off. <laughs> Ready to make an official complaint. And AJ, you know, in the ring. Bodies everywhere. Oh. Is he going to win the chamber? Probably not. We'll see. <laughs> so, that's going to do it, folks. We're at the end of our tether. Yeah. So, from your hosts, the master of the brain damage, Martin. and the one and only Sam H, we'll see you again for the next one. This complaint is official. <laughs>